Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. My name is Gord and we are in Better Than Starting Man getting ready to make an attempt at Eve. That's not the Eve, uh... Hmm, I had a better Eve encounter than that. Alright, just for the record, we had a bit of a glitch. Um... My ship design is good, don't get me wrong, but it has... There we go, that's where I wanted it. There, about 500,000 500, kilometers, or half a million meters. It's good, good close approach. Um, okay, so here's the issue. The ship, the four LV-909s, are actually a little underpowered. They're actually a lot underpowered. So I think I'm going to have to do the... And the, with them, the burn is about almost 10 minutes. So we're going to have to do a little adjustment to our ship design here. We're going to put the, uh, the poodle in at 25% thrust. And we're going to burn at T minus 3 minutes. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the right time. Just hoping we're not going to wind up burning below the horizon. Well, we're still six minutes away, so that's actually quite a distance when you're in orbit. There we are. T minus 243 uh, should be good. So yeah, I didn't want to have to do this because now we've got we're actually pushing more mass than I had planned, and we're using fuel from this. But I feel it is necessary. There we go. That's still a seven-minute burn. 35. Let's go with 50. Ah, uh, yeah, that's going to have to do. All right. So what happened is, um, when I had the burn set wrong, I actually missed Eve. Quite badly, actually. My orbit wound up being not even close to the projected orbit because I was so late that's where splitting your difference on either side of the uh, marker becomes really important. So there we are. We're at a, got a, five, a six minute burn. We started at just a T minus three ish. So, okay, so it's going to be a little to one side, but not nearly as much as that previous one was. It's unfortunate that we're having to use the uh, throttle from the uh, poodle, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And apparently what I gotta do is use these uh, little engines on the side here for this. But that's okay. That's a-okay. So, yeah. So it didn't go perfectly. Which was unfortunate. So this is actually my second attempt on this one. Thank goodness for quick saves, or I'd be really unhappy right now. Um, yeah, so where we're at... Yeah, so this design is slightly... These, these engines are slightly underpowered. I'd probably be better off sacrificing a little bit of fuel in each tank to get more of them for the initial boosts. If I took two of... Yeah, if I combined... If I did six of these smaller tank and engine combos, I'd probably actually get a lot more bang for my buck out of it. Because what I really need is that early power. That really significant early power would be nice to have. Not exactly what I was hoping for, and this thing is definitely using up the fuel a lot faster than I would like. Hmm... Taking it down to 40%. Means we're going to be four minutes behind. Which is not ideal. Not ideal. I guess the only way to fix this would be to start sooner, wouldn't it? That's about the only way I can see to actually fix this issue. Hmm. Alright, well... 
we're going to be, ah, uh, well, you know what, actually it's going to work out okay. Three minutes on either side. We've still got 90% of the, we've still got lots of this tank left. We're using up these outer ones much faster. Which is good, that's what I was hoping for, but I was hoping I would get a lot more out of this one. 390 versus, or 50 kilonewtons versus 88. Hmm. Interesting. A little effort to try and keep it on target here. Okay, I'm just knocking down the uh, power of this. No, we'll keep it up. I don't want to... Uh, I don't lose the, throt, the uh, boost that I'm getting here. It's already going to be 3 minutes and 30 seconds on the wrong side of the, uh, well, on the opposite side, so I think it's split more or less 50%. I wonder if I should be, follow, if I should be following this or if I should be um, just sticking with where I originally aimed my ship. I would assume you have to keep it on the target because that's you know our target. This is this is our target orbit. I'm going to assume it knows how to recalculate to make sure it hits said target orbit. Two minutes and thirty seconds to go. We're fifty percent on these outer engines. I'm really tempted to shut down this middle engine. I guess I could use these for the inter thrust, the uh, just orbit adjustments inter on the interplanetary stage. If they've not used up all their fuel, that'll be necessary. Two minutes to go. It's coming. It's coming. Now the thing is that if I balance this right, most of this is fuel I would have had to use for this part anyways. A minute and 45 seconds. Almost to lunar orbit. It's a pretty cool looking ship. I'm quite happy with it. I'm hoping to dive this whole beast through the upper, very upper edges of Eve's atmosphere to pick up a little, uh, just to snag uh, atmospheric science while I still have the solar panel uh, assistance. I believe that'll be an excellent plan. <sighs> this bulk of unit here is going to go in orbit gilly in the long run. Okay. Minute and six. We're almost down to a minute left. We've still got lots of fuel left. In both sets of engines. We'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be just fine. We'll use the we'll disable the LV uh, or the poodle and just use the LV 909s for the final maneuvering. I just hope we've hit this a little bit more on target than last time. because I would very much like to get an encounter with Eve this time. Even if it's not perfectly what I had originally designed, I'll still be quite content. There we go. 30 seconds to go, we're about to break orbit. Whoops! No, I did not mean to set that as a... Uh, I don't know what I just did, but I should not have done it while I was maneuvering. Well, let's just hope that it works out. I think I just switched my uh, conic or something. Okay, getting ready to kill my uh, burn. This is looking a lot better than last time. 
Still not perfect. There's still 10 seconds left. It's a very small window. Starting to chase this a little. Four, three, two, one. Okay, what happened? We burn precisely on our target. I somehow have a ship on Eve selected now. Okay, let's get back to the ship that we actually have selected right now. All right, space center. We're gonna check our orbit and prepare some modifications to get that encounter, because we know we're close. We know that burn was close. We just don't know why it's not showing up right now. We're just going to we're just doing this to quickly fix the uh Uh-oh. What has happened? That's not the burn I had planned, is it? I suppose if I was do, to do the burn now, it would come out really weird. So let's just get rid of it. All right, we're gonna Eve set his target. Oh, we are close. Okay. Are we coming in too soon or too late? That's the first question. We're coming in a little too late. So what we need is a target is an adjustment about a third of the way out. There we are. There's that encounter we were missing. Uh, let's just put that into... Alright. That's the planned orbit. There we are. Okay. Now let's see. Maybe I did angle it a little too much upwards. That's possible. Now, okay, we need Gilly. I gotta figure out what Gilly's, plain Gilly's orbit is in. We got time. Got time, as long as I'm not using up my battery too fast. We need to go back to the space center. Yeah, okay, we're pointed at the sun. So we're gonna go back to the space center and we need to look at Gilly. I hope I can see what the EVE system looks like from here. Actually, I can check it from the ship that's actually already there. Gilly Probe Mark 1. Let's see, Gilly is in a slightly tilted orbit. So what, about 20 degrees off of... Uh, yeah, it's about 20, yeah, about, about 10 or 20 degrees off. So if I can come in close to equatorial, I should be okay. So let's get the Eve Explorer. Uh, not the Eve Explorer, yeah, Eve Explorer Mark II is the one. We need to keep adjusting our uh, planned orbit here. So we need to make sure that our arrival is coming in as a flat as flat as possible. So right now we're coming in at a slight orb angle. Okay, there we are. That's... Hold on, we need to flatten it out relative to Eve. coming in too steep. Interesting. Alright, so there's got to be another thing we can do here. Yep, there is. This lovely, this lovely one right here. Alright, now what about timing? How much does timing help? Not even a little. Oh, 
little. 60, 50, 40. So we're doing it a whole bunch. Yeah, okay, it doesn't help much. We're just uh, tweaking this, trying to keep it flat. That's the part I can't tell. Nine, eight, seven, and we're starting to tilt again. There we are. Add 10 to that and we're nice and flat again. Oh wait, we're not flat to our target's orbit though, and that's that's what we need. There we go. Okay. See, that orbit is now flat relative to our target, I think. What we really need is a different conic mode. How can we... we focus... Focus view on Eve. There we go. That's what we need. Okay, yeah, see, look, we're coming in really off kilter. Okay. Let's zero that out. Let's see what we can do. Okay. How do we adjust this orbit based on how we're arriving? All right, zero again. So we're currently coming in below it. So first thing we need to do is get our periaps or our normal up. Just our radial. Just that normal. Okay, we're coming in at that bad angle again. And we're almost 90 degrees from it. All right, well, that's a really close approach now, but it's really steeply angled in exactly the wrong direction again. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I need to go negative. Okay, nope, that's not doing it. Okay, that's not helping. Alright, let's just zero that out. Let's just do some work with just the radial or just the normal. So we want to come in flat. Let's just play with radial and normal. Hmm. Hold on. Do we have an ascending node or a descending node for this uh, encounter here? No, we don't. Could do it sooner. Sooner might help. Okay, we need to do it later. Maybe a little closer to the planet might help. Okay. Are we arriving? All right, the node is right there. Okay, so right now we're just off. We're arriving too late. And now we miss. Too late, okay, but we're also burning too late to catch up. So there's our, so we have to do this definitely sooner. Oh, 
Oh yeah, okay, th there it is. Let's see, is there anything we can do if we, if we go later? Is that adjusting anything? No. Timing is nothing. Timing is probably just going to affect how much fuel it actually takes. Now, what I do need to know is where is that ascending node and descending node now? We don't really have one. It's interesting. I'm not sure how we're going to fix this. Okay, so that's coming in. See, now our periapsis is aligned. So if we call that the plane of his orbit. Our periaps now crosses that. And it's just not coming in at the angle I want it to. That's definitely not doing anything useful. Okay, I'm having a little trouble here. I want this to be close to Gilly's orbit. Why would it take, why would it, okay, what do I have to do to get us closer to Gilly? Or even to a flat plane orbit here, come on. as close as we can get with that adjustment and that gets us closer but it also makes our orbit a lot steeper why is it doing that because we're not matching the actual plane of Eve's orbit which is what we actually need to do so this orbit we're making here let's zero it out again we need to do a plus one two three four five adjustment there and now what we need to do is we need to just match Eve. And that is not what we're actually doing right now. Okay, hold on. Which, which one is our actual arrival orbit? Okay, we need to change our conic here because this is the orbit we actually need to be adjusting this first one. Let's see, conic zero, conic three. Okay. Let's zero everything out again. Okay, where's that ascending node or descending node? Our ascending node is way back, so the sooner we do this, actually, the better off we'll be, the more closer we'll be able to get to actually matching Eve's orbit, I think. Zero. Okay, there's our encounter. Oh, we haven't done anything other than... Okay. I don't know why the conics aren't working right, but let's see. So that first one will get us an encounter. Darn it, that sun is making it really hard to see what the heck is going on here. See, so if we had an ascending node or descending node, soon we'd be set, but we don't. It's after. Or just slightly... Actually, this is pretty much it right here, isn't it? That's going to be too late. Okay. 
So if we set the maneuver, and then we set a second one right where this descending node is, this actually might be the way we're going to have to do it. Hmm. No, that's not going to work. But I see the problem is we're doing this maneuver when we're as off kilter, off as possible from Eve's uh, tilt. So now we do need to do it early. The sooner we do it, the better. There's our encounter. It should be much, much flatter, yep. See, we're down to three days. All right, the 100 is only representing minutes, not seconds, so let's just keep going. We'll go a lot closer in. Thirty. There we are. No, we're still coming in really off. Uh... From where we want to actually encounter this. All right. Okay. Techniques that I don't know. I'm not sure how to do this. I mean, I can get the encounter no problem, but the actual... So we're two degrees... off from... Uh... And if I do the burn... Yeah, if I do it here, I'm as far from... Okay. I need to do two separate maneuvers then. I'm sorry this has taken so long, guys, but... As early as possible, we need to adjust our orbit to get an encounter. And then everything else will be secondary. Oh my god, that is coming in so far off it's not even funny. Zero that out. Hmm. That's still almost... That's a long ways off from Eve's orbit, or from... Uh, Oh dear. Hey guys, sorry about the delay and the interruption. This is recorded after the fact. Um, what I'm showing you right now is what I thought was going to be the solution to my Eve encounter. But as you'll see, um, or the astute amongst you may have noticed earlier on, I'm making one really critical mistake with my uh, approach to Eve, which is because I forgot to check one critical attribute of the EVE system. Now if you look at this, you'll see that I'm coming in and swinging around under, cur under EVE and pulling into an orbit. And you can see I've got the orbit match and everything planned right there. But I'm coming in counterclockwise, counter, I'm coming in clockwise and Gilly orbits counterclockwise when looked at from above. So, what will happen here is basically I'm going to wind up in more or less the same problem I had in the previous attempt, which was I'm just going too fast to actually get a proper orbit with Gilly. So, I'm going to abandon this attempt. I did record my attempt to actually fly this, and I'm going to save you guys the pain and impatience of watching me <laughs> not accomplish this goal, but I just wanted to show you, illustrate to you, 
the value and importance of checking the characteristics of the star system you're going to before you plan and execute an orbit to it. I'd say two, after, two hours after I started recording. But, you know, that's just you learn. That's how you learn. That's how you make mistakes. Uh, lesson learned is a lesson learned. Uh, in the next episode, we'll plan a more carefully thought out orbit uh, and intercept. And I think I can do a lot better than what you see here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.